Now, Toptimize is a great plugin for solving the cumulative layout shift problem that Google Search Console says that you might have on your website. And you can see that video by clicking right here of how I fixed it for my website. Now, on the downside, Toptimize does create one hell of a cache. It can get filled up pretty quick depending on the settings that you have on your website. And it doesn't have an automatic feature to get rid of the cache. Well, I'm Michael with Rise Sanctuary, and today we're going to be using Cache Enabler to empty a Toptimize's cache. Now, before we get started, if you can hit the like button to help the channel out. And for more videos about WordPress, hit subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can always hit me up on social media, on Twitter and Facebook, or use the contact form on RyerSanctuary.com's website. Okay, without further ado, let's get installing. Now, this is one of my websites. It's Practically Living Green. It's one of my newer blogs. We just started getting content on it last year, and it's uh, it's picking up. But as you can see, Atoptimize is saying that my cache is at, well, it's not too bad. Uh, I just recently installed Atoptimize on this website, so it's not going to be a very big cache as a demonstration. Unfortunately, all my blogs have Cache Enabler already installed, so they're always clean. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Plugins, and we're going to click on Add New. From here, we're going to look for Cache Enabler. We're going to Install Now, and Activate. Now one thing you should keep in mind is that Optimize even mentions Cache Enabler as being one of the tools that works great with its plugin and I'd have to say that it does. It's done all kinds of wonderful things for my blogs so I'm a proud sponsor of it. Well, not really a sponsor, supporter. Nobody pays me for this shit. So from our plugin screen we're going to go down to settings and we're going to click on Cache Enabler. Now this is what I get with the first install. And we're gonna go through these real quick and I'll show you how to do them. Um, cache pages expire so many hours after being created. Now, some will say 24 hours is a good number. I usually set mine to 72, but it really depends on how your website's set up. The cached pages expire expiration checkbox uh, feature does not work on one of my blogs, but it works perfect for the other ones. So I'm not sure why it doesn't work for that particular blog, but I'm in the middle of trying to fix that. But at any rate, it doesn't really hurt anything if you set this or not. So I suggest doing it just in case. The first option is to clear the site cache if any post has been published, updated, or trashed. Now, anytime I publish or update or trash a post, it's going to clean a Toptimize. Same with anybody who comments. Now, you have options for clearing the site if the term has been added or updated or if the or if a user has been added, updated, or deleted. I don't worry about either one of these two because I rarely do either one. Of course, it really doesn't hurt if you select them, but you know, I'd rather just keep it as simple as possible. Another one that you'd probably be interested in is clearing the site cache if a plugin has been activated or deactivated. This is any time that you add or remove any plugins for your website. That way, any of your newer visitors will be able to get the most fresh copy of the website as possible, especially if you add a plugin that does something on the front end. A couple of settings I don't mind hitting is they create a cached version of WebP support. And I use EWW image optimization for WebP. And WebP images are super small compared to JPEGs and Google PageSpeed Insights love it. In fact, Google's been trying to push WebP for like almost what, 15, 20 years. And it does a good job. I mean, they are quite small in comparison size-wise and you don't lose any image quality. So might as well uh, create a cache version of mobile devices. Yep. Uh, create cache version pre-compressed with gzip. Now gzip is kind of one of those things where some experts say you should use it, others don't. I don't uh, normally because, uh, well, I just don't care. <laughs> You can also set for Minify HTML and cache pages, but I already have uh, Minify going through uh, to Optimize, so I'm not worried about Minification. Everything else, I kind of leave just as default. And then when we're done setting our settings, we just hit the Save Changes and clear the site cache. 
And as you can see, I don't know if you noticed it before, but now my cash is back to 1% instead of the 3% that it was at earlier. That's pretty much all there is to it. The uh, cash neighbor is pretty easy and quick to set up. It is going to depend on what you have running on your website to begin with. Some things won't work, kind of like the expiration pages I was telling you about earlier. Uh, for some reason, on my main, on michaelbrockbank.com, that feature doesn't work. I don't know why. It works fine in Rider Sanctuary and Colorado Play, so there must be something I have running on michaelbrockbank.com that is causing it to fail. Okay, so what I just did off screen was I accessed my pages just so I can try to build a little bit to the cache. So right now my app optimizes at 4%. So when I go to a post that I want to publish, which is one that's ready to go. So when the post is ready to be published, we can go back to our dashboard and take a look and see that the optimize has been cleared out. And since I try to publish content on a regular basis, it usually keeps the optimize pretty clean. So what's your favorite caching plugin for WordPress? Personally, I'm a big fan of Autoptimize and adding Cache Enabler has made a big difference to things. And I don't get nearly as many emails about my cache being overflowing. I just gotta figure out what the hell's wrong with that one website. If you found the video informative, hit the like button for more videos about WordPress, self-publishing, freelance writing, or anything else I cover, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. I think it's gonna do it for me today. I'll see you next time.